the advanced supply chain software extensions that we provide at IBIS for Dynamics AX are designed to make your life a little bit easier by streamlining some of the common business processes that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the features that we will be focusing on in this quick presentation is a vendor managed inventory feature that automates the invoicing of inventory that your vendor supplies to you within your distribution centers. Rather than having to track manually the inventory usage and then create purchase orders to release inventory, this feature will track the vendor uh, inventory and then automatically purchase it for you as you consume it. Let's take a look and see how this works. Now let's look at some of the uh, setup that is required for the vendor managed inventory to work. It's not a lot, but what we're going to do is if I look at the warehouse itself, then we'll notice that there is a vendor associated with this warehouse and also the warehouse is marked as a VMI managed warehouse. Also, if we look at our products, there's a little bit of setup that's required on those as well. Now, the only thing that we need to do is that if I look in the purchasing area, then there's going to be a vendor associated with this product, which will be the default replenishment vendor. And also, again, this product is marked as a VMI uh, managed product. So once we have all of this information set up, then we can go out and replenish the inventory or uh, receive in the vendor managed inventory without impacting the general ledger. And we do that here through the released product itself. So if you look on the VMI tab, then we've got a replenishment option. This works almost like a count list. And all we're going to do is say, how much inventory did the vendor uh, send us so that we can put that into inventory. So I'm going to replenish this, and I'm going to add 100 each of this product to my warehouse. Once I've updated this, then the replenishment will be completed. And now, if we return back to our inventory, then we will see that now there's a 1,000 units, or uh, we've replenished some of the inventory here within the system. What this is doing in the background is really what it's doing is it's not receiving an inventory, it's just registering it, which is the way that we can have the inventory in the warehouse, but not have any financial um, responsibility for that item itself. Once we have the inventory in stock or managed within the VMI warehouse, then we can start automating some of the transactions. And uh, we're going to do that here within Dynamics AX, or illustrate it within Dynamics AX, just by going out and creating a simple sales order against that vendor managed warehouse. So I'm going to create a sales order. And then I'm just going to choose uh, one of the customers that we've got here within the system. So let's, let's order some product from Riches, and uh, I'm going to tell it that I want to pull it from the VMI warehouse. Now, this could mimic the warehouse structure that you've got set up within um, your traditional uh, distribution centers, or you can have this as a completely separate warehouse as well. So now all I need to do is just create the sales order and start uh, using that product. So I'm going to type in the product number and I'm going to tell it how much do I want to order. So I'll order 100 units of this. It's gone out and allocated that inventory for me. And if I continue through and just confirm the sales order and run through all of the normal shipping processes, then it's going to go out and grab that inventory. But remember, we haven't, we don't own that inventory, or uh, normally we don't own that inventory until this has been shipped out. So I'm just going to ship this out and we'll show you what happens within the inventory transactions. 
So now I'm going to create my picking list transactions. And remember, this can be done uh, also through all of the um, uh, warehouse management transactions or the warehouse management handhelds. Now, I've gone out and uh, picked this item, and by picking it, it has now created a purchase order for me. So I can actually go and look at that purchase order, and this is telling the system that um, we're going to be consuming this item from the consignment inventory, and this is the automation that allows us to really streamline the process. So it's gone out and created the purchase order for us, and then we're going to continue through. I'm going to go out and uh, pack it and put it on the uh, on the carrier. Then I'll just continue through and invoice it just to tidy up the transaction. Now, in the background, what this has done is this has told the system that because we've invoiced it and we have a purchase order for this item, then it's also going to do the automatic receipt for us of that item. So we've taken, in this case, 100 eaches out of the uh, vendor managed inventory, and then that inventory is going to uh, be, for a very split second, received in and become inventory that we own and then we're shipping it out which then means that uh, uh, the inventory is no longer there for us so now that we've shipped out this inventory we can close down the sales order and i'm just going to return back to the uh, inventory screen that we had and i'm going to refresh the inventory Notice now that we've got 900 units back in our vendor managed inventory warehouse. And if I look at the transactions, then we can see that the purchase order was created or and received, and then it was sold right away. And all of the costing is running through the system. I didn't have to do any of the receipt. I didn't have to do any, really any of the generation of the purchase order either. It's going to do that automatically for me. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how the vendor managed inventory works within the advanced supply chain software extensions for Dynamics AX. It streamlines the process quite a lot and really manages all of the accounting for you so that you don't have to uh, work out what was shipped and what you owe. It's automatically going to go through to the payables based on what was shipped out of the vendor managed inventory warehouse. If you have any questions, then don't hesitate to contact us, and we can probably uh, schedule a presentation of this and maybe some of the other advanced inventory features which are built into the advanced supply chain software suite.